Okay, guys, I don't know what happened. You just, you just cut out. It just went away. I have no idea what happened. I think we're good now. It says I'm connected. Something happened with the Wi-Fi. So I don't know if that was on my end or what. I have no idea. But I'm really, really sorry, guys. This is like take two again. I don't know. Usually when I do these, I'm really, really good. And then lately, like the Wi-Fi or I don't know if it's us or if it's YouTube or if it's because it's Monday and everybody's on. I don't know. But like the last two times, good, oh, excuse me. Good morning. Good morning, Zuli. It's good to see you. Okay, so we're live. We're good. Everybody's coming in. I think we'll be okay this time around. I don't know what happened. But anyways, take two, guys. Take two. We were only like five minutes in. So to retract all of that, I'm doing an unboxing today of um, the Christmas envelopes. As I said earlier, I got a phone call from a few people, not phone call, messages from a few people that they're still sending in. So this will probably go for one more week, which is fine. It's still the first week of December. So I think there's three or four more people who are sending stuff in. So that's fine. No problem. No big deal. Um, I have like four or five of them sitting in front of me. So I'm going to get right into it. We were starting out with April's. I already kind of showed you the beginning part of her um, envelope and was talking all about how she kind of like reinforced this with like masking tape and that she did all of the insides of hers um, really really pretty very very pretty on the inside and then all of her tips she lined with um, washi which is really really cool and they're reinforced so this like envelope is super super thick very reinforced I hope you guys are still there Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I'm doing very well. From Florida. Warm weather. Not warm weather here. It's very cold. Matter of fact, we're under an ice warning today. <laughs> I hate this time of year. But yes, you're here. Zulili, yes, you were here. Okay. I think I lost some of you. I'm not sure what's going on. I know you guys are coming in, but my counter says zero. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. But I'm just going to keep rolling with it. Can I send you a little hot from here? I wish you could, really and truly. There you are, kitty. I'm here. Okay. So people are coming in. Good morning, Vanessa. Okay. My thing still says zero, but you guys just keep going in. We'll work with it. So this morning we have some unboxing to do of the Christmas envelopes. Right now we are working on April's. I already took some stuff out. She had um, a little package that probably has one through 30. If you're doing like an advent calendar or a December daily. She sent some Christmas washi. She sent a little bag of ephemera. That's where we left off. For some reason, I got knocked off. And it's still saying I don't have anybody in here, but I see comments. So I don't know what's going on, but we're just going to continue to roll with it. So in here, she sent some really cute ephemera. I love this little woodsy look. Very cute. I love this one, of course. The stag. And... Oh, I didn't mention these two little teeny teeny clothespins. Cute. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's very cute, Vanessa. Very cute. Happy holidays with the tags. Look at the boots. Isn't that cute? That's different. And then here's one for the drink. Very cute stuff. So she has a little baggie full of ephemera here. And again, if I didn't mention it, this is from April. I'm not going to mention last names. I'll keep your last names private. But you know who you are. So that was her first pocket there. Her second pocket, she has lots of fun things. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. Very, very cute. So she has, ooh, some big ephemera. So in the second pocket here, she has nice big journaling cards. These are beautiful. Oh, I love the one. There's the first one. Look at this one with the red truck. Beautiful. Love the deer paper. I do too. And like, I wish you guys can feel it because she masking taped all of it. Packaging tape, not masking, packaging taped it. It's real firm. Like no one's going to rip that puppy. Beautiful journal. Like this is a beautiful envelope that she sent. 
Like this would be, oh my God, I love this. Look, it looks like my dog. Oh my God, I love this. But um, here's this one. So far, the stuff that she sent in her envelope, oh my goodness, would make an incredible thing to do a December daily with. Oh, not doing one this year. I've done one every single year for like the past five years. Not doing it this year. I love my December dailies though. And then in her third envelope, her third little pocket, I should say. This is what she has in it. Very pretty. Very pretty. And she has more beautiful ephemera. Look at this. Stag. This is beautiful paper. I don't know what paper kit this is. But oh my goodness, it's just gorgeous. Oh, I love this one. Hello, winter. Oh, I love the next one too. Look. Excuse and greetings. These are beautiful. All is calm and all is bright. These are gorgeous. I'm telling you, this would be perfect for anybody who's doing like um like a December daily or they're doing like a Christmas junk journal or any kind of journaling, advent calendar type thing. Oh my goodness, this stuff would be absolutely perfect for all of that. So this is April's envelope. And she plays the little paper clips. We'll put them back on here. And that was April's. So she has like a little scene going on. I love the night sky. And then she used like little jemmies. And this is this side. Just beautiful, beautiful. Are you guys still there? It still says zero. It says nobody is in here. Super cute. Yes, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Do I have an advent calendar, Vanessa? No, I don't. I was going to do one this year, but I have to be honest with you guys. I scaled back on some of the things that I had planned. Like if I was to show you my bullet journal and like all the bullets of the videos that I had planned, I've kind of scaled back on that because I still am very unsure what's going to happen to my channel. Now that we are in the month of December, like what's today, December 2nd? Yeah, today is December 2nd. And it doesn't look like anything is changing with this whole Copa thing. So I've kind of scaled back, but I was going to do an advent calendar out of a Dollar Tree um, cookie pan and paper. And I was going to make shelves with it and everything. So no, I don't have one. But if things change, maybe I'll have one for next year. I'm still a little... A little iffy on the iffy side and I should just mention why you guys are all on here too after I made my little announcement about um like I'm not sure what's going to happen with the COPA stuff I told you guys that one of the options might be to um go over to Patreon and you pay you have to there has to be something done on Patreon a dollar a month and I would continue to do exactly what I'm doing here but over at Patreon and I had not made those changes because at that time I did not know what was going to happen and I wasn't going to put a dollar tier on there until I knew. But many of you had commented or texted me and been like, Missy, I went over to your Patreon. You don't even have a dollar tier. So I did fix that. There is a dollar tier over there. I'm just making preparations because I have no idea what's going to happen yet. As it stands, things kind of still are the same. But anyways, we're not going to talk about the pressing stuff. So this one is from, I'm, I think she told me one time how to say her name. I think it's Jaina. We're going to do hers next. Jaina, and she's from Texas. Texas, Texas. So in here, she has this little baggie. And this says, Merry Christmas to Missy from Jaina. Thanks for everything you do. Ah! You put your videos on private, but I'm not sure if that's even safe. Listen, I deleted over 150 of mine. 150 of my over 700 videos. I made all of my vlogs or anything that my daughter or anything's in. I made all of those private. I refuse to delete them because they're like family home videos. And then anything that I thought like I did um, one time I did Prima dolls. I did a Prima doll thing and I showed how to make bookmarks and stuff out of them. Things like that I marked for children because it was dolls. And then anything where I use the hot glue gun or my any kind of crafting tool that heated up with sharp scissors, Zacto knives. I kept all of that not for children because those tools are not appropriate for children. But I still don't know if I if I did it right or not. <laughs> I have no idea. 
So in this cute little bag, yeah, that's another thing, the tools, exactly. Kitty says, I have to go drop off my daughter at school. Have a wonderful day, Kitty. I'm so glad that you dropped in to say hello. Who knows, I might still be on here when you get back. <laughs> You'll catch the replay. Bye, sweetie. Have a great day. So in this little cute bag that Jaina had sent me, yes, Jaina, cute little bag. She sent me in here. Look at this little guy. It's like um, wine cork ornament. Hopefully. <laughs> I have a lot. Like, look at this bag. And I think there's like four of them in here. So I might still be here. But anyways, it's like a little cork, wine cork ornament. Do you see that? And she like put little beads up here, a little button over here. It has like a little dangle down here of a snowflake. Isn't that adorable? And it says Cap Rock Winery. And it's like a little wine cork. Isn't that a cute little ornament? What a cute little idea. And then she sent me these cute little mittens. They're like chipboard. And it says, warm wishes. Isn't that adorable? And I can tell they're little ornaments or tags. Adorable. And a little candy cane. And then a cute little pair of socks with more candy canes on the inside. Thank you, Jane. That was so nice. You didn't have to do that, but I love stuff like that. I really do. And look at these guys. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. I love the colors. So cute. Thank you so, so much. I so appreciate that. And then her envelope is in here. Ooh, she did mixed media. This is our very first mixed media envelope. I'm going to put her stuff back in here so I don't get confused. Whose envelope is whose? Just give me a second, girls. I don't want to get envelopes confused and send you back your own envelope. That would suck. <laughs> but look, she did mixed media. I love this. This is our first mixed media envelope. So this is what this side looks like. And then this side. And then she made a little pocket right here. So these little embellies come out. See? These little embellishments come out. So it's like a little Christmas tree, a little um, ornament, and a candy cane. I love the mixed media. Lots of inking. And it feels like paint, too. That's really cool. And it looks like she did. I do that technique, too. Mine never turn out the way I like it, though. Where you, like, you drop water. You take, like, a dropper. And you drop water. And it's supposed to make, like, little, I don't know, splashes. And then I've seen people do that. And they take, like, a heating tool or a blow dryer. And then they'll they'll blow the, like, the little spots. And then, like, it makes, like, the splatter mixed media is so much fun I really like that oh and I think this is a little pocket too so in here it is it's a little pocket she has this little coupon well it's a ticket cute 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 okay and she has this big bow on the front and let's see what she has on the inside so in the first pocket here she has this little baggie full oh we're not going to open this because I'll get this everywhere but those are snowflakes and christmas trees look at that paper and then on this side i can see peeking like a little christmas tree that is plaid and then all of these little punch outs that's why i'm not going to open it because it'll be everywhere but isn't that cute you guys still there because it still says there's zero people in this room you still there i guess that was the first pocket okay oh she has a lot of pockets in here Oh, and she did all the insides, too. Look. Look at that. Isn't that? You're here? Good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you answering me because my thing says nobody's here. But look, she did mixed media all on the inside. Very cute. So in the next pocket, she has a whole bunch of ephemera. Oh, did she color these? I don't know, guys. These look hand, these look hand colored. So I don't know if she stamped these images and colored them. You guys see that? They look like they were done with um, gel pens. Very pretty. I think that's what she did. I think these are stamped and she colored them in. Ooh, this like this whole thing is like mixed media. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
Okay, in the next pocket, she has some tags. So she has this, oh, look how cute. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> look how cute. And then the back says to and from. I bet you she handmade that. That's adorable. Then she has this one, Holly Jolly. Then she has a Merry Christmas. Okay, so this is probably, this is to the lovey who receives it. Merry Christmas. Then in her next pocket, she has a whole bunch of little candy canes for you guys. Oh, and look, here is like a little tag she made. And that is using like some of these that she punched out for you. Look how cute. Look how adorable. I love the paper. The paper is like glittery. And this is ribbon. The Merry Christmas. Very cute. Ooh, and she sent you a whole stamp set. <gasps> nice. Jolly. Naughty or nice. Don't open until Christmas. Oh, these are adorable. Nice stamps. Nice. Okay, let's see. I think there was something else in this other pocket. Yes. And then in her last pocket, she has a few of these, which are like little cards. That's a snowman. And then this little snowman. And then <laughs> this one's cute. Come on, let's play. What is that? Elf on a shelf? I never did that with my kids. Believe. And then gingerbread. Very cute. And then, like I said, all of her pockets are mixed media as well. Very cute. Very cute. I love mixed media. Okay, so that is, let me make sure I have the name correct before I say it again. Yes, that's Jaina's pocket. Not pocket, envelope. Let me just put her stuff back in here real quick. And then we will work on this big one that we have sitting over here. But I love it. Lots of homemade stuff in this one. So over Thanksgiving break, did everybody get their Christmas decorations out? Hey, Jersey girl, how are you? Hey, I heard Jersey's supposed to get more snow this week than we are. How crazy is that? Guys, I, if anybody doesn't know, I'm originally from Jersey by Seaside, you know, the shore. Good. Yes. And isn't that cute? I was by the shore and because we lived by at the gym. Girl, you're at the gym. Hi, Nancy. Good morning. Isn't that adorable? We have our tree up since last week. <laughs> it's Harry Potter theme. Oh, that's so cool. Girl, you should take pictures of that. Are you on Instagram? Because I'd love to see that. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Love it. Mixed media. So that is Jaina's pocket. So we're going to move on to, I keep calling them pockets. They're not pockets. They're envelopes with pockets. So that is Jaina's. That was Jaina's. And then we just unboxed April's as well. April's. So we're going to move on to the next big bag that's sitting here in front of me. And I think there's a few of them in here. And there's some names on here. It says Belinda, Alex, and Nova or Nava. Nava maybe or Nova. Oh, I know you just said something and I just mixed it. I just missed it. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. And I didn't, and like guys, it's all still wrapped. I didn't go through any of this. So to swap partner from Belinda. Oh, one says Missy. Okay. All right, let me put this one back so I don't get names. Harry Potter fans, yes, I have pics and a little video there, but still adding stuff to it. <gasps> I'm going to have to look. I love Harry Potter. Yo, yeah. Definitely love reading. Okay. So in here, well, first I think we should address this one. Okay, this one says Missy. That means me. So here's this cute little bag. Okay. So in this bag we have, oh my gosh. We have all kinds of goodies. I should open my letter first. Okay. So in here we have two Missy. Ooh, little glassine bag. Love glassine bags. 
We've had our Christmas tree up for a while because I love Christmas. Missy, thanks so much for another great swap. My daughter and I really enjoy putting these together. So glad you're back. Belinda, I think that's Nova or Neva. Nova from Texas. Thank you. So in here, so this is from a mom and a daughter. That's exciting. So, oh my goodness, look at all my gosh, guys. Like, you guys spoil me. So, she's Buffalo Check. <laughs> Buffalo Check Washi. Thank you. And then here's like a little glassine bag. And in here are, ooh, like little doodads. Like, I love little bags like this. Little bags of just little paper clips and buttons and wood chip pieces. And then there's like little foam pieces in here. Whoop. And then we have, oh my goodness, little Christmas stocking stickers. Look, look how cute. Little foam trees. Then Christmas stock stocking stickers. And then little foamy stickers. I'm not going to pull everything out. But thank you. You guys did not have to do this. But I love all of it, you know. Okay, and then I see Buffalo Check. Oh, look how cute. Look. Isn't that cute? Oh, I think I have it upside down. But it's adorable. Thank you. Stamps. Oh, my gosh. It says holiday wishes, gl a little gloves. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Believe. Look how cute. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Look at this bag, guys. Oh, you guys didn't have to do all of this. She sent me stickers, little felt stickers. How cute. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, look at the little foxy at the bottom. You guys know me so well. A little, little foxy, oh my gosh, a big bag full of ephemera. <sighs> Might have to do another live and make more ephemera stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so much fun going through that. Might have to make another video. What's this? This is a little notebook, the elf on the shelf notebook. Oh, cute, look. Isn't that adorable? Super, super cute. Then she got, let's see what else is in here. Oh, little candies. Adorable. Oh, she has some little. Oh yeah, I might just have to make some embellishments. She has the little um cupcake liners. I love doing little embellishments with these. She has some note cards in here, some snowflakes. Look at all these. And they're like double sided. Oh, I love these, girl. Oh, look. You hooked me up. Oh, snowflakes. Girl, you hooked me up. Thank you so much. You did not have to do that. I so appreciate it, though. And now I'm totally inspired to do more Christmas and bellies. I really had fun. Anybody in the room here with me right now that joined me for my live where I made Christmas embellishments, did you guys enjoy that? I had a blast. I had a blast. Okay, so this says to swap partner from Belinda. Now, when you receive this back, it's not probably going to have the tissue paper on it <laughs> because I'm about to destroy it. But I'm not going to open your card. That's between you and Belinda. Yes, I'm going to destroy the tissue paper. Very sorry about that, but... All right, this puppy is thick. Look at this. Thick. Oh my gosh, I see lots of eyelash trim on the back. What is that about? Look. Do you guys see this on the back? Eyelash trim. <gasps> Wait, I think I see what this is. She made like little pockets. Look. 
and you can pull in and out tags. Ah! Making a list. Look at that. That is such a cool idea. Nifty. This is why I love doing this stuff. You guys are so talented. And then look, here's another one. Isn't that cute? I know, Vanessa. Look at that. That's such a cute idea. I love this. Neat, neat, neat. So that is the back with the eyelash trim. And then this is the front. Look how stinking cute. Look at the eyelash trim. Love it. That's the front. I love this. She did lots of layering. And then this is one of my favorite things to do. I talk about it all the time. Is tearing paper. And then you distress the edges. And she distressed hers in like this bright red maroon color. Isn't that pretty? She's going to go pick your son up from school. Bye, Zuli. It was nice seeing you. I still might be on comeback if you can. <laughs> Isn't it? Beautiful. Okay, so let's get into this because look at this, guys. You too, Zuli. Thank you. Look at how full this thing is. So we're going to start from the front. So in the front here we have, and I am not opening all these little boxes, guys, but all these little bags. But here she has a whole bunch of tags for you guys with the strings. And these look like they're handmade and they look like she tried, like they're going to be like she stitched them and then she distressed the edges. Then in this little baggie, it's like a little baggie of just goodies. You have some um, twine and clothespins and buttons and little chipboard pieces. Nice. Then in this pocket, she has stickers. She has, oh my goodness, what is all of this? All of this fun. Okay, so in here... See, oh, okay. I see what these are. Oh, I know what these are. These are gift card holders. Oh my goodness. Look, guys. You see that? And then there's the front. And then the gift card would stick out. It's so pretty. Do I have like something I can use in here that like, yes, I do. I have a gift card in here myself. So like here's Target gift card. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love them. So she has this one, this one, this one, which is like the old school vintage Santa. Look at, look how beautiful they are. It's one, two, three, four. Four of these and they're gift card holders. Girl, these are gorgeous. I love these. So you have those, and then she did all the inside of hers. They're all lined and everything on the inside. Morning, morning, Natasha. How are you? So we pull, oh, it's so thick in here, I can hardly grab. Okay, so that's the first pocket. So in the second pocket here, she has some stickers. Then she has one of these. I am doing well. And look, I have my camera right. <laughs> All because of you, Natasha. For anybody who doesn't know, I tried to do a live when I did the bellies and I could not get my phone right <laughs> playing on the computer. I'm so glad that you joined me this morning. And she actually FaceTimed me so to teach me, so she schooled me. She schooled me. And now I did it right, so. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Gloria, how are you? But this is in it. Okay. Then I think, you know what? I think if you just came in, Natasha, I'm going to reshow these because I really think you would like really appreciate this. But look, she made homemade gift card pockets. Yes, I'm still working. Wait, we are still working out the kinks in the computer. I hear you. Computers are so finicky. But look. She made homemade, you saw them? Oh, the Santa bag, okay, good. Good morning, Belinda. I'm glad you're doing well, Gloria. I'm so glad everybody's here. 
Come on in. For anybody who doesn't know, Journey of Crafting, the AKA Natasha. She has a channel here on YouTube too, and she loves all this paper crafting stuff too. So I thought she would really appreciate those because <laughs> she makes amazing things. Okay, so we have another little pocket. Ooh, this one's packed too. Holy moly. Let me grab it all. Goodness gracious. Wow. I can't grab it all. Oh, there's a washi in here too. That's what's poking. Okay, so she has a little washi. Of course. I see you got my envelope. Yes, I did. Isn't it cute? Okay. So we have some of these. Look how pretty. I love the buffalo check. And then on the back it says season greetings. So these are like beautiful little journaling cards. Again, these are fantastic for December dailies. Um, if you're going to do a winter or Christmas junk journal, um, hap they're great for happy mail. Like, these things are great for so many, so many, so many different things. I love all this. What I think it is for me is I love stationery. Look how beautiful. Like I'm a stationery junkie. So I love stuff like this. Love. Oh, this is huge. I'm not going to open this. But it's a beautiful glassine bag, as you can tell. And it's full, you see, of the punch outs and ephemera. Oh, my goodness. Look at all of that. I'm not going to open that because that'll spill everywhere. <laughs> and then I'll never get it back to you. Oh, look at this. She made a shaker. How fun. Look. So this is the first side. I love that. And then this is the back side. And I love that she took the time to like edge out all her trees. So cute. Um, Natasha, this was for December. I wanted to do it early so that everybody kind of had their, their little envelope for the month of December. So I don't think I'm going to do anything else. And... Take me back to, yeah, right? <laughs> we did these all the time. Um, anyways, we I'm not going to do nothing for the month of December, and I want to see kind of how all this stuff works out with Copa and all that crap. So, yeah, we did all the shaker stuff and all that stuff. Like when the Fuse tool came out like a year, almost like a year or two years ago, like we were shaker everything, shaker everything. I got a Fuse tool. Yeah, I still use my Fuse tool. She also has in here a little baggie full of little felt stickers. I love my Fuse tool. I'm sick of all this Copa stuff. I am too. I am so sick and tired of it. I'm so sick and tired of thinking about it, worrying about it. I've done everything I think I can. I've deleted over 150 of my videos, blah, 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 blah. It's like, it is what it is. Like, I don't know what else to do because if I use a Fuse tool, it's not for children. But if I play with stickers, it is like, what do you do? And calling it a day. Yeah, me too, Natasha. What? Oh my God, really what? 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 Oh my God, really what? So lots of fun goodies. Goodies, 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 goodies. Yes, I deleted 150 of my videos. Yep, I deleted over 150 of my videos. Anything that I couldn't figure out if it was kid, kid attractive or not. I deleted those completely. Anything that my daughter was in, any personal vlogging that I did, I didn't delete those. I marked those private because they're like home videos. I don't want to get rid of them. And then I went through other stuff that I really didn't want to get. Like I, like I just mentioned at the beginning of the video, like I made Prima dolls for like um, October and things, which were Prima stamps. I marked those type of videos for children because it had the word dolls in it. But anything where I used like my hot glue gun, like all of my Dollar Tree DIYs and stuff like that, I kept that all for adults because I'm using my hot glue gun, X-Acto knives. I'm using tools that are not appropriate for children. So I kept all of those not for children. I marked those for adults. I don't know if I did it right or not. I have no idea. My husband keeps telling me he thinks I should just delete my channel and move over to um move over to uh patreon 
I was going to mark my whole channel for kids, then I realized it's lying, so I marked the whole channel not for kids, and that's where the lawyer will come in handy. Right. Right. Right, because you have no idea. And, like, the deadline's coming, the 10th is coming. So it's, like, nerve-wracking. I've lost so much sleep over this. You have no idea. But this is Belinda's envelope. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the back to this. Love this. This is ingenious that you made your envelopes have little tuck spots for tags. Absolutely ingenious. So creative. I love it. So this is Belinda's envelope with her little letter to her swap partner. Love it. It's a federal law thing. So even if you go to another platform, you will have the same issues. See, I was told different with Patreon because there is no commercial. So they're not gathering intel. And on Patreon, you have to pay. So if you pay a dollar a month to watch me, which a child is not going to be able to, it's different because you're actually paying for the material and there's no commercials. You're not making any revenue off of commercials. You're not making revenue off of the stuff that runs off. You're making a revenue from the actual person because they're paying a dollar. Like I have different tiers, but I was just going to do a dollar. If you want to continue to watch me like you do here, it's a dollar a month, $12 a year, which I think is ridiculous. I think it's absolutely ridiculous because let's say you have 700 people that you're subscribed to on YouTube. You're not going to pay a dollar a person to watch over at Patreon. That's $700 a month. That's, that's insane. That's insane. I was told different. At this point, I don't know if anybody knows what they're talking about. I was told because you were literally paying out of pocket. You were paying a dollar to watch the material that I put out. And because there is no commercials, they can't collect data. YouTube should be okay, too, as you can create your account with... The, right, 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 and they lie. But you have to be 18 or older to have a... Um, 18 or older to have a... What's that? What the heck? How do you get... PayPal. PayPal. So that deems it like you have to be 18 or older to have a PayPal, and that's how you pay. That's how you pay Patreon. You pay through PayPal. So I have no idea. If parent, exactly. You got it, Natasha. It's with the parents. I agree with you 100%. And if the parents hand their kids an iPad or a phone and say, here you go, then it's on the parents, not the creator. And you know, and like I said in my original video, yes, to use their accounts. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And it's like, if, and, and it's like, if the kids, if they hand their phone or their iPad to their kids and their kids are like, go ahead and go for it, which is the same problem with that platform. You're right. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. So it's like, what do you do? What do you do? And it is on the parents. And just like I said in my original view, my original video is that if this does, nothing changes and all of the family friendly people are scared to death to stay on and leave then all that is going to be left on YouTube is the trash. And the kids are going to watch it anyways. If you think that of all the family-friendly video people leave, all the family-friendly, like family vloggers, people who do woodwork, crafting, all of that stuff, you could just demonetize your channel. I could. I could. Because then I can keep my community and my comments and things like that. But they released a thing. I don't know about you, but when I go to log in, it says if you're not making, like basically if you're not making YouTube money in the new year, they're doing the way with those counts because there's no reason to keep you on. So if you demonetize your channel, you're not making YouTube any money. I have no idea. I have no idea. YouTube has always reserved the right to, to delete your channel. They've always done that, but they're making it much more known we'll put it that way okay so oh crap I just sent that flying I will go get that after the video but this is Belinda's daughter's envelope and I'm not exactly sure what her name is to their children you got it about demonetizing your channel absolutely well therefore you're not going to make any money and I don't know about you but I like I still edit all my videos and all this stuff and I spend hours doing this this is like my full-time job so there has to be incentive for me to keep doing this. And second of all, um, painters, day buyers, pretty much everyone, right? Pretty much, hi, mom, how are you? My mom's on, hi, mom. 
So pretty much everybody that's family friendly is scared to death. And if all the family friendly, you're, you're like, there's beautiful homeschooling communities out there, people who have children who have special needs and they built a whole community for support for other parents who have special needs. And because there's children in those videos, they, these people, this is what they do for a living. YouTube is their living. And what are they going to have to do? They're, they're going to lose their monetization, their community, everything. And even if they demonetize their channel to keep the comments, they're not going to make a living off of this anymore. It's going to hurt millions. And then, like I said, all that's going to be left on YouTube is going to be garbage. Garbage. And kids are going to watch it anyways. They're going to watch it anyways. So you're hurting the children anyways. Right? Like Natasha said, this is your full-time job. Basically, this is my full-time job. I This is what I do for a living. I spend eight hours a day doing this stuff. Gloria, yes. With clear and concrete with their rules. Right. They need to remove that little thing that says child attractive, that gray area. Stickers and what I do in making ephemera and stuff may be child attractive, but the tools I use are not appropriate for children. And my channel is not geared towards children. It's geared toward women my age and older at home moms. And I do more than crafting. I do, I do food videos and I do DIYs and I do hauls and <clears throat> right, right. We're willing to follow the rules and we're being penalized for it. It's terrible. It's, it's absolutely terrible. But anyways, it says Belinda, Alex, and I think her name is Nova or Neva. I may be pronouncing it wrong. I did look at my demographics and you know what it said? 35 to 65. I don't even have any children. None. It doesn't even come into the bars until 35 years old. The 13 to, to I think it's 16 and then 16 to 18 and then 18 to 25 and all that. All that is blank. Zero. Zip. My demographics don't even start until like 35 and then it goes up. I don't know. So I'm assuming that this is Alex and Nova's or Neva's envelope because the big one we just showed was Belinda's and I believe these are her, her daughter or her daughters. So I love that that a mom and a daughter did this together. So this envelope is adorable. I have this paper pad. I love it. So it's beautiful animals. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going on a tangent. This stuff makes my heart brace and it makes me so upset. And it's affecting so many people that I love. So many of the YouTubers that I'm friends with that do very similar things that I do. I have zero children views as well. Yes, that one is Alex's. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you. Belinda, your envelope girl is gorge. This, this. Belinda, you got it going on, girl. And these little things, these little things, I love it. You're so talented. You're so talented. I love it. I'm exactly, but most of mine are 40 to 7. I'm right with you. I'm right with you, Natasha. That's me too. That's me too. So this is Alex's envelope. So isn't this beautiful? Look how beautiful. I love this. I love this paper pad. I have this one myself. I love it. So in the back here, she has some beautiful, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful, Natasha. So in the back here, she has some beautiful paper. Look. So she has some journaling cards. Journaling cards. Right. I know I'm like half tempted like on my lives and stuff. We just go, this video is not for children. If you're a child and 13 years of older, Please get off. <laughs> I love this. Look at the deer. Is that a recipe card? Oh, she's asking Belinda. Oh, I didn't even look. It might be. No, it says deliver to present. Pretty. Pretty. And she made a little pocket down here at the bottom. And I'll see eyelash trim and I'm like, where is it? What's that too? I want to see. Okay, so this is Alex's. She has a cute little paper clip. I'm sorry, Belinda, we're talking about all this stuff. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Okay. And then in her first envelope here, let's pull out some of this stuff. 
And Belinda, thank you, Alex and Belinda. Thank you so much for my goodie bag. <gasps> I love everything in it. Thank you so, so, so much. I so appreciate that. You spoilt me. Oh, yes. See, here's her little, oh, it's a little shaker. Let me put this down. So here she made like a little shaker. Look, little shaker. Isn't that cute? And then she wrote on the name, not sure. I was right next to her and not sure what she did. Okay, well then we'll unbox this together. But she made a beautiful shaker and then she wrote her note on the back. Isn't that cute? Look. Yes. I know, isn't that wonderful that her and her whole family do the crafting together? Can't get my kids to craft with me if I paid them to. If I paid them to, they wouldn't do it. Little craps. Oh, oh look, she made another shaker. Look. Look, isn't that cute? I love it. Look at the bow. And then in the back, she left it blank. So sweet. Okay. Then she has some stickers. Then she has more stickers. Do I have these upright? No, they're upside down. More stickers. Out of the office when I'm streaming. <laughs> we were lucky. Then I have a little, not I, she sent a little paper clip. And then, is this, does this open? Or is this just a thick piece of cardstock? I think this is just a really, yes, it's just a really thick piece of thart, card, not thard card stock isn't it cute it's okay listen i can't spell on a good day so it's all right <laughs> so everybody get made fun of that so bad like little ephemera pieces like missy you're an author and you can't spell yeah i can't really and truly thank god for spell check cute little gingerbread sticker and then this says Merry Christmas. And I think this is just a cute little envelope. Again, this stuff is so cute to do like in your journaling. And if you're, oh, look, there's my dog in the background. Um, journaling or if you're doing like a December daily, this stuff is so cute. Forever to get used to my laptop. Yes. In the move, my laptop got stepped on. So the laptop that I do all of my you, my YouTube stuff on. It got stepped on in the move, so the keyboard don't work. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Yes, his name is Dozer. So then I have to pull that out and then pull a different keyboard out and plug it in. It's a pain in the butt. Mine don't even work because it got stepped on. But that was that. And then her two little shakers. Yes, oh, fun. Oh, and she did all the insides of hers as well. She lined all the insides of her envelopes. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, seeing this paper pad makes me want to get it out and do stuff with it. It is so gosh darn pretty. And then she made, ooh, like a, ooh, I think there's a whole bunch of goodies in here. There is. So it's like a little baggie. And love you going live. I do too. I really enjoy the lives. I think they're so much fun. You're going to make it a regular thing. Yeah, maybe I'll do Mondays. I'll do Monday, every Monday live. And then look inside. There's a whole bunch of like little die cuts. I don't want to pull them out, out. I worry about stuff like that, like losing it. And then you're not going to get what she sent you. But it's a whole bunch of beautiful die cuts. They're gorgeous in this little cute bag. And like she stickled, she stickled the little deer. Can you see it? So pretty, so pretty. And she has another little bag full of goodies. I love these bags where it's just a mishmash of a whole bunch of stuff. Yes, computer editing and then uploading to YouTube. You are exactly right, Natasha. These are much easier and I love to be able to interact with all of you. You guys are what make YouTube fun. You make it what it'd be devastating to lose. It's the friendships and the people. That's what's devastating. I love interacting with all of you because I am an at-home mom who doesn't have inter interaction with much people. <laughs> so to interact with people who have like-minded people like me, it's a miracle. And poof, then done. Yes. But it's this beautiful. It says the most wonderful time of the year. And she has like one of those pretty little embellishments down here. And I bet you this is a stamp. 
and she like inked it all up beautiful and then on the back she digs like you can tell it's inked and stamped and then eyelash trim girls my channel for kids no interaction anymore yes yes it's devastating that's what makes me cry not being able to have stuff Missy, do you remember when you sent out my stuffed envelope? Yes, I sent it out um, Monday or Tuesday of last week because um, I've already had people post and tag me on Instagram that they received it back. Like Natasha, I sent um, yours back. Did you receive yours? Did you get your returned envelope back to you? So it should be arriving. It should be there already, but depending on where you live, I know... Um, Ella and somebody else already got their envelope because they posted it to Instagram and tagged me in it. And then mark it private after. And if you missed it, oh well. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if that would be, if that would work. Uh, Natasha received her envelope. Okay, good. Okay. We love our eyelash trim. Yes, Belinda, you are my soul sister, girl. I can't get enough of this stuff. Keep your eye open for it. Maybe it'll come today because I know the holiday delays stuff. But like Natasha got hers. I know Ella got hers. And I know another one got hers. And I sent five of them out that day. And yours was one of them. So just keep your eyes open. And then after I'm done with this live, I'm going to mix all these up. And I'll be mailing out the next batch as well. And then like I said, four more people did contact me. So I think I have four more of these envelopes coming. And then I think we're done. So she has a beautiful tag. Then let me show you this pocket. Oh, there's some, there is some, um, I love doing this too. I loved it. Right, right. Doing the live and then once it's done, mark it private. That may very well be a very good idea. But I love doing this too, is putting washi samples on a playing card because the washi just peels right off. It's, it's perfect. And then this is this inside of hers. So beautiful. Love this. I love this paper. She did such a good job. Oh, I see lots of homemade stuff in this one. Oh, look at this embellishment. Hello, Sandra. How are you? Look. Look how beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful embellishment. Just don't use a vintage playing card. Yes. Dozer. Sorry, guys, my dog is being nasty, and I can hear it. He's a boy dog, if you know what I mean. That sound makes me nuts. Peel off of vintage paper cards. Oh, it will not peel off of vintage paper cards. Okay, now I got what you're saying. This is just a regular playing card, so these work great. And she sent a beautiful a star, which, not a star, a snowflake. Is he a border collie? No, he is a Australian Shepherd. And I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but like this is behind the cupcake liner. Can you see that? Very, very pretty. This is gorgeous. Love it. Then in here, she has these, these little papers. See? These little papers. And then she has one of these. Isn't that pretty? Love it. I love the embellishments. I'm all about embellies. I'm all about embellishments. Love embellishments. And that's the inside of that pocket. Isn't that pretty? I love this paper too. There's one that has little um that has little squirrels on it. I call my squirrels squeals. <laughs> that has little squirrels on it. Oh my gosh, this paper is gorgeous. I love this paper pack. So it's absolutely beautiful. So you did wonderful, Alex. Thank you so, so much for participating in this with your mama. I so appreciate it. I'm so glad that you guys craft together and have fun. Your embellishments are gorgeous, girls. And I love your shakers. Your shakers are so cute. Look. They're so cute. Shakers are so fun. I love it. She said she was happy to participate. And she is from Texas. And she's 29. I hope that's okay to say. Isn't that fun? Love it. Now my heat's going to come on. So if you hear hissing, that's what it is. <laughs> it's my heat. It is very cold here. Like I said, we are under ice warnings. I 
Yes, warnings. So, those, we put all of her stuff back so we don't lose it. We know whose is whose. I love this. Love this. I love you guys. Belinda, I love you. Alex, I love you. Natasha, I love you guys all. You guys make all this stuff so special. Really and truly. I really do. I look forward to getting on in the mornings. Like, I'm excited. Like, I don't normally wear makeup and stuff, you know. I'm just an at-home mom. So I'm just like, I can't wait to put my makeup on and stuff like that. So I look halfway decent. I don't look like a zombie. And get on here. Do you have much snow? No, not yet. But we're under an ice warning today. So we're supposed to get um, the first layer because as it gets colder, I guess. So the first as it starts to rain, it's supposed to be ice. And then we're, then we're under a one to three inches of snow. And my daughter doesn't have school today because here in Pennsylvania, ooh, I forgot a big loop of hair. Here in Pennsylvania today is the first day of um, deer season. So they have no school. So if we get this ice and we get the snow, we probably won't have school again tomorrow. You watch. Or there'll be a big delay. Or, as usual, um, as usual, the, the weathermen are the only people I know. No snow here. We do here. Oh, you have snow. How much do you guys have? They're the only people that I know that can lie, lie, and keep their jobs. <laughs> Except for politicians. But we won't go there, will we? No, we won't get political. But thank you, Belinda and Alex. This is amazing. This is amazing. You guys, car, you guys are just amazing. So I just want to reshow everybody's again because I just love them. So this is Belinda's. This is Alex, which are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to stick them real quick back in their bags so that I don't mix up. You know, that's one of my biggest fears doing these, where I am just a few inches. Yeah. Just enough to make it miserable and yucky. All right. Hi, Jackie. Yes. Okay, so that was Belinda's and... Alex, I'm gonna put them back in their big bags so I don't. That is like I was saying. That's one of my biggest fears is when you do these, and you don't put them right back. I worry if I don't put them right back, I'll send you back your own envelope. <laughs> that would be horrible. But I worry about doing stuff like that. And this is April's. Remember Miss April's? She lined all of hers in packaging tape, and then on the tips of all of hers, she put washi. Yep. Oh, I love it. I love it. So pretty. I love the Buffalo Jack. So, so cute and pretty. This one was April's. One more. Just want to make sure everybody gets to see. I just put it back so I don't get it mixed up. That would suck. That would really suck. And then this one is Jaina's. I think she told me last week how to say her name, and I think it was Jaina. And then Jaina was the one who did all mixed media. I would just giggle if I got my own stuff back. <laughs> I probably would too, but I, feel, I would feel horrible. I would feel horrible if I did something like that. But as I'm getting older, can anybody relate? As I'm getting older, I do more stupid stuff like that all the time. All the time. Does anybody remember that commercial where you see and you were like, they, they had their glasses on top of their head and the, and the commercial's like, when you walk into the room and you forget what you came in the room for, and he was looking for his glasses and they were on top of their head. Like, I laughed at that and now like, that's me, what's happening? <laughs> I have to go in later to watch those. Oh no, I missed those. What did you miss, Gloria? I would laugh my blood off. Belinda says she'd laugh her butt off. Okay, that's good. If I ever do it, then I'm counting on all that. I see, Kitty, I told you you'd be back in time. Hi, Kitty. But this one is Jaina's. This was the mixed media one. She did all of her envelopes all inside the mixed media. Very pretty. And she did the little pocket in the front. The envelope, I think. Okay. I made it yes kitty of the envelopes you are showing oh you missed all oh you missed the first ones that i showed you'll have to go back and watch it girl when it's all over they're really really cute but this is the mixed media one from jana isn't it beautiful 
Jackie, I am that way also. Can't remember. I can't remember crap. I can't remember nothing. And like back in the day when those little videos would come on, she said, I put a description. Oh, I want to read our only two choices from YouTube. Directed to kids or not. When it comes back in, I'll have to finish reading that. But, yes. So thank you guys. And like I said, I probably will be back live. I don't know. Our mail doesn't usually come here until about 4. And like I said, um, a couple people have contacted me that they're a little late. And it's okay. You guys can be late. I'm very forgiving. It's all right. They're a little late sending their stuff in. So, um... If I get it today, I might go on live tomorrow after Natasha gets done with her live, um, which will be about 1 o'clock, and do an unboxing then. But I will always let you know in my community, on my Facebook page, my Facebook group page, and um, I can start letting you guys know on Instagram too when I'm going to be live. Puts it back on YouTube unless they add more options. Directed to kids or not, no other choice, right? And then I didn't see the comment underneath of it. But those are the envelopes today, guys. I want to thank everybody who sent me these beautiful little, look at this, these beautiful little fun things. I love this. It's a wine cork ornament. Isn't that so cute? Isn't that adorable? I love this. Love it. And my little socks. Little sockies. I love it love it love it love it thank you so much for everything you guys don't ever have to send me anything extra just your beautiful creativity did you get my message yes i did honey and i'll kitty i'll text you privately after the video is over but it's fine i just want to let you know it's perfectly fine no worries no worries so i just want to thank you guys for everything now that we're getting ready to end the video everybody is coming in now, now my, my little meter here is running. No problem, sweetie. Love ya. Nancy says, that's nice. Absolutely. It's all nice. It's all nice. So if you missed it, if you're just coming in now and you missed this, please go back and watch because these envelopes were absolutely gorgeous. They all were. Everybody's were. Like even Natasha, she did something really cool with hers. Hers was completely different than everybody else's. And I love that. Belinda put little pockets in the back where you can pull tags out of and stuff. Um, uh, I think it was Nova. No, not Nova. Wrong person. Uh, who was it? Jaina. Jaina did mixed media. Love, love, love it. I love the variety and the difference of all of these. I love it. You're gonna go back and watch. Good, I'm glad. Nancy said, I got my envelope on Friday. Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like it? Of course you liked it, right? Right? I feel like I'm choking. I'm always doing this, but it's cold. It's cold. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to bring this to a close. Yes, it was adorable. Good, I'm so glad. So I think Gloria, Gloria, I think you're the only one who has not received yours yet. It seems like everybody that I sent out got theirs. Everybody say hi to my mom. This D. Huey lady, that's my mom. <laughs> everybody say hi, mom. <laughs> say hi. But I think, hi, mom. Thank you, Gloria. I think you're the only one who hasn't gotten yours yet. It seems like everybody else that I mailed out got it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> That's my mama. You got to give your mama support. Listen, the creativity, it just goes right down the line. My mom, she, she, my kids won't craft with me, but my mama crafts with me all the time. I think I get my creativity from her. So it all goes to my mom. Love you, mom. They all say hi. <laughs> you guys are the best. See? Maybe I'll get it here today. I do. You, you're friends with me on um, Instagram, right? So, like, after this ends, you can keep in contact with me because if you don't, I have the, I have the receipt so I can go back and see, um, like, I can track. Maybe I can go back and track it. So make sure you keep in contact with me if you don't get it in the next, like, two, three days here. Okay, Gloria? Oh, your seven-year-old son crafts with you. How sweet. Does he like what is his favorite thing to do? Does he like to paint? Does he like to what does he like to do? Yeah, just keep me in the loop, Gloria. And if it doesn't come to you, like I would say at least by Wednesday, Thursday, I will go and get the receipt and see what we can do about it. 
Yes, he loves it. Oh, how precious. I did little stuff. I homeschooled my, my son and my daughter for a long period of time. And so they got a little older and they were like, Mom, I need to interact with other people than you. <laughs> and I sent them to public school. But when we were homeschooling with them, I did crafts with them all the time. But then I don't know if that's the reason they hate it. I don't know. He likes to make envelopes and decorate letters. Oh, that's awesome, Nancy. That's so sweet. Precious, precious, precious. I love when kids craft with their parents. That's awesome. So sweet. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day. I wanted to I wanted to ask you guys, too, um, now that I got all this cool stuff, <laughs> would you guys like to do another um, live embellishment thing? I would love to do some of these in the evening because I think there would be more people because I know everybody works. My problem is, is that I have to craft in my kitchen and my whole family's home. And I just don't know if you'd be able to hear me. I really don't because like I live with like there's five of us here and a dog and a bird that I have to literally cover with a black blanket or it'll squawk all the time. I just don't know. I just don't know if that would work. I just don't. I think it'd be so like there'd be so much noise. But I would like to do one in the evenings. But would you guys like another live embellishment video? Let me know. And then I think we're going to call this one a day. But I'm so happy I got to interact with all of you. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Nancy says yes. Good for me, except for 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yes, I know, Natasha. Guys. I wanted to tell you, Natasha, she is on Tuesday through Friday, like she just said, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., and she does awesome crafting live. She makes beautiful journals, junk journals. She has all kinds of cool stuff. You guys need to check her out. She's on Tuesday through Friday live. Saturday, she does, like, selling stuff and auctions and all that fun stuff. You've got to check her out. She's right here. Click her little face and go over to her channel. You're going to love it. Her stuff is beautiful. Beautiful. Do you guys remember her envelope? She made that live. She made that live. She crafted that live on her channel. I remember a few weeks back. So you guys need to check her out. So if you like these lives, go check her out. So I think I'm going to jump off of here now that every, we unboxed everything. I don't want to keep you guys here forever. I know you have lives. I'd love to keep you here because I could literally talk for hours, hours, but I'm not. Absolutely, girl. I love you. You're awesome. All of you are awesome. You make my life so much better. And I'm not just saying that to say that really and truly. You just started following her. You're going to love her kitty. You're going to love her. I promise you. She'll be on tomorrow. Make sure you check her out. <laughs> all right, guys. Seriously, I'm going to go this time. I love you all. I will probably be on sometime this week. Just keep looking for like my announcements in my community and all that. And if you want to join my Facebook group, it'll all be linked. And I put my announcements there when I'm going to go live so that you guys can get the envelopes you guys can see. Bye, Gloria. See you guys. Bye, Kitty. Bye, Natasha. Bye, Mom. Who else is on here? I think I got everybody. Bye, Jersey girl. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you. I'll be talking to you all soon. Bye. Have a great day, guys.